PolyFit is great mind-body exercise. It's really effective. You can do it three times a week and get into the best shape of your life. Today I wanted to show you some Holy Fit exercises that are exclusive to Holy Fit, that are original. Many of our exercises are, although you can't help seeing ideas from places and using them in your exercise class. Some classify it under the genre of yoga, but we reject that classification to make the point that we do not agree with the philosophies of yoga and actually we make that point so as not to perpetuate the lie that all movement belongs to yoga. When people go to a yoga class and they come out saying, oh, I feel so good, isn't yoga wonderful? I have to say no, it's not yoga that makes you feel wonderful. It's slow moving mind body exercise which was given to us by God. It's simply exercise. Exercise makes you feel wonderful. And especially if stress management is incorporated into it and it's a gentle and yet powerful system, which Holy Fit is. You can try this exercise at home. It's in supine position and I'll repeat it a couple times so you can see it. It works the hamstring of the left leg and also stretches the hamstring of the right leg. And then of course you would repeat on the other side. The way it's done is you lay in supine position, right hand over the head, palm up, and you lift up the hips to a one-legged bridge and then pull the right leg back to stretch. Watch it again. So the hips are lifted and then lowered and the stretch is added at the end. Your Holy Fit instructor could help you modify that just for you. And whenever we work a muscle group, we always stretch it afterwards. So now we're opening the right hip and stretching the left hamstring by crossing the right leg over the left thigh. Holy Fit trains strength and flexibility equally. It trains cardio, strength, flexibility, and also has the added benefit of scripture memorization for the best stress management possible. Here's an exercise that trains the shoulder girdle. You may have seen something that looks similar to this in yoga, but this is what we call supine shield with one leg extension. As we memorize scripture, true stress management occurs, and it's a true mind-body experience to do holy fit. This is an example of a holy fit core exercise that was actually inspired from my springboard diving days. It stretches the hamstring and works the iliopsoas so that our one and a half pike somersaults would be nice and tight. I would say because of the scripture memorization and because of the soundness of the Holy Fit system that Holy Fit is actually better than yoga. Here is an example of a Holy Fit exercise called Prayer Runner. It's a runner's lunge position that's very deep and we also add holy hands. Then it turns into a shoulder exercise, particularly targeting the rotator cuff muscles. It's not only the exercises themselves that make Holy Fit so original, but the sequencing that we place them in. This one-handed push-up position is combined with what we call a sword drill, where the knee and the elbow come together. It's a very strong core exercise combined with Again, a sh shoulder stability exercise targeting the rotator cuffs and ending in a stretch. As in Holy Fit, all of the exercises are soundly based on fitness principles that are well accepted in the industry by such organizations as the American College of Sports Medicine and the Aerobics and Fitness Association of America. The most enjoyable part of Holy Fit for me is presenting our bodies a living sacrifice to the Lord in worship. As we exercise, we submit our body to the Lord. For from Him and to Him and through Him are all things. To Him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. So you get the best of both worlds. Wonderful mind-body exercise from a biblical perspective, and it's fun. This is an example of a Holy Fit arm stretch that was introduced by Connie and Oliver Haydner that they got from classical ballet training. And we don't need to call it yoga 
in order to explain what it is to other people. It's its own original system. And there's no obligation to call our exercises yoga because there's no legal branding on any yoga exercise. If ever anyone tried to brand yoga movement, of course it would be thrown out of court because there's no such thing as yoga movement. There is only universal movement that God has given to everyone. And this universal movement is used by certain groups of people. One group of people that use slow moving exercise is yoga. But just because we do slow moving exercise does not mean we have to call it yoga. There's no obligation. We call our cutting edge mind body Christian exercise system holy fit and feel no obligation to explain it as yoga, especially because we do not want to, to agree with the philosophies of yoga because we do not. Yoga philosophies do not teach that Jesus is the only way to heaven, and we at Holy Fit do believe that because Jesus said so himself. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And because our faith is in Christ, we do not claim to be doing yoga. We do not claim to be doing Christian yoga because if we were to call it Christian yoga, that would just perpetuate the big lie that says all movement belongs to yoga. Movement does not belong to yoga. Movement was created by God for our enjoyment, to use to worship Him with our bodies. We should never have let yoga take it in the first place because it's rightfully ours. All things belong to Christ. And because all things belong to Christ, all things belong to us. Find a class near you. We're popping up all over. And if you don't have one in your area, get trained all online and start teaching right away. Be able to bring this wonderful alternative to your church or health club so that people have a choice about whether they want to participate in yoga or whether they just want to do great mind-body exercise from a Christian perspective. Holy Fit is a great alternative to yoga, your alternative to yoga.